Well, since the days of Met Stadium and the 494 Strip, Bloomington has always had a strong hospitality industry. The opening of the Mall of America 30 years ago took that hospitality industry to another level. Hospitality is now the number one industry in the city of Bloomington. And with the mall as an anchor in that hospitality industry, between the hotels, the bars, the restaurants, the liquor and lodging taxes that are collected by the city of Bloomington, that equals about $10 million a year. That's 13% of the city's general fund. It has an enormous impact on the city's general fund and on the taxpayers of Bloomington. Without the mall, the tax base would be much less and the tax bill on residents would be much higher. It's a good two-way partnership with the city of Bloomington. We have this ongoing conversation, this ongoing communication with city staff and leaders to say, how do we work together to make this even better? How do we work together to bring more people to Bloomington to experience not just Mall of America, but the entire city and the region as well. The tenants continue to evolve and change over the years. We're oftentimes the very first location for clicks to bricks tenants. So brands that lived online, oftentimes were their first or one of their very first physical locations. And they do so well here that then they're able to expand elsewhere. And then of course the mall has had a huge impact on the development in the South Loop District around us. Uh, lots of hotel rooms, lots of office space, and so it's been a complete game changer in terms of uh, enticing development to this district. The light rail transit in Minnesota stops in three cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and here in Bloomington specifically because of the Mall of America. When LRT was originally proposed, it was going to end at the airport and the staff on LRT in the end said we cannot in good conscience plan on ending this line at the airport. The city of Bloomington has approvals and plans for something much more significant even though getting to the mall required a tunnel for LRT underneath the two runways at the airport so it was a significant extra expenditure for Metro Transit but uh, basically, the plan that we had in, in place sold itself. The city really did not have to lobby very hard for LRT. The economic impact of the Mall of America goes beyond Bloomington. It reaches across the entire Twin Cities area. I'm convinced without the Mall of America and our hospitality industry here in Bloomington, there is no Super Bowl coming to Minnesota. We wouldn't have been able to get the Final Four, would not have been able to get the Ryder Cup, the Mall of America and the Bloomington hospitality industry have influenced so much of what's gone on in the Twin Cities.